The world's most ambitious attempt to harness fusion as a source of power is taking shape in France. Scientists want to recreate what the sun does, force atoms together to release energy. The project is costing £13 billion and it's being backed by a whole swathe of countries around the world. The experiment is taking place in the south of France. Our science editor David Shookman was given special access. At one of the world's largest construction sites, a dream for future energy is taking shape. This is a project called ITER, and it's trying something extraordinary. To build a machine that'll produce energy by copying what happens inside the sun. Blazing over this corner of southern France, it's the process known as fusion. Fusion promises an almost limitless source of energy for the planet. And when we make ITER work, we'll have demonstrated from the scientific and technology point of view that fusion energy can produce large-scale power. The vision is for a new kind of reactor which in theory is easy to fuel, leaves little waste and produces no greenhouse gas. And because of this potential, it's backed by Europe, America, China, India, Russia, Japan and South Korea. More than half the world's population sharing the cost of £13 billion. To explain how this is going to work, let's use virtual reality. Now, in a normal nuclear reactor, you take an atom and then split it. This releases energy. It's the process known as fission. What they're going to do here is the opposite. They're going to be taking pairs of atoms and then forcing or fusing them together. This will release even more energy. It's what's called fusion and it's the process that goes on inside the sun. Now, there's really only one way to contain this. They'll create an enormous magnetic field. It'll sit here like a giant ring, and inside it, the fusion, all those atoms being forced together, will take place right in the middle. If this works, it'll be a major step to showing that fusion can be a viable source of power. But there's a very long way to go. Here's one they built earlier, a pilot plant known as JET at Cullum in Oxfordshire. It's pioneered the research. I was shown around the tangle of pipes and cables that swirl around the reactor. Everything about this technology is challenging. This is the strange sight of the process in action. They have got fusion to work, but not on a scale that yet makes any kind of financial sense. What we've learned is that it's scientifically feasible to generate energy from fusion. What we haven't yet learned is whether we can do that at a commercial rate that you want to pay for your electricity. Now everything hinges on the project underway in France. It keeps falling behind schedule. It's like a high-tech jigsaw puzzle, fitting together a million components made in dozens of different countries. The pieces will be made in all, of, all around the world. They'll be shipped um, here, and we're, here they will have to essentially orchestrate their arrival and build them step by step. And so everything must arrive at the right time, in order. Um, no, it's a really a critical, critical point. Fusion energy was first promised back in the 1950s, and it's still decades away. But this is where we'll see if the power of the sun really can be repeated here on Earth. David Truckman, BBC News, in southern France.